Guys, just real quick before we start the video, I'd just like to give you a huge thank you out to everybody who's checked out the Sun and Moon giveaway video until now. If you have not yet shared the video and posted the link to your share in the comments section down below, please do so to enter to win. That is all. Enjoy the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to a little bit of a different video today. We're kind of doing a discussion slash podcast slash I don't know what to call this but anyway if you guys don't know yet Hydragon is being suspect tested in UU and there's been kind of mixed emotions about it mainly from Dom but <laughs> from everybody um, Smogon kind of seems a little bit ban happy or rather suspect test happy these days so we're gonna we're gonna be doing a live at the same time as uh, as discussing the uh, the fact that they're suspect testing Hydragon. So uh, with us today we have of course Dom's game room and everyone on my channel. With us of course we have uh, Aster, Aster J, we Aster J. That's right. And everybody on the Guys Got Game channel, welcome to our first uh, ban list uh, discussion video or suspect test discussion video. We also have uh, Heavy Metal Pokemon himself, Eric. Yo, what is up everybody? It's Heavy Metal Pokemon here on the Guys Got Game channel, the Game Room, and Aster's channel, who... And everybody's channel, right? really. We're, we're, recording for, <laughs> we're recording for everybody's channel. And finally, we have a new face to the channel, actually. Somebody that was on a little bit of a trip around the world. Uh, Diglett Dreams, a.k.a. Matt. Uh, what's up, everybody? So, uh, Matt, uh, Matt was apparently a legend. You should feel honored I... that Matt is gracing <laughs> us with his presence. I am, I am. I'm very honored. I'm honored to have all of you here. Uh, but uh, Matt uh, was somebody that Rob greatly uh, honored and, and looked up to and constantly talked about in the NBA and he finally came back from a trip so got a chance to meet him. Cool guy. Nice to have him on the channel. Thanks for coming, man. Glad to be here. So uh, let's get a couple of games. We're all on the same account and uh, we're each going to be taking our turns at games. I'll let the others play for now because I kind of want to discuss High Dragon with Dom a little bit. Yeah, so Eric, yeah. I don't know if you want to grab this game. But, uh, we can all just click as we close. I think you should lead. Uh, oh, I, I, I loaded one of my teams. I didn't even need, notice. Need a queen, I think it's fine here. Yeah, it's it's Shuka, right? No, life orb actually. Uh, maybe yeah, no queen's fine better. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You live in earthquake. It's still right for the uh, ice beam. This guy's got like half mono here. rock, and the other half is like. It's a, it's a gen one. I don't know. Wouldn't earth power have been better there? Uh, in case he switched out. Get up oh, your okay. rocks here. Yeah, rocks are good. Die. That's probably Woo! There we go. Right on the so yeah, um, looking at Hydreigon, what I've what I've noticed is that uh, its presence in the tier, like if it was removed from the tier, it wouldn't do anything. But if it stayed, it wouldn't do anything either. Yeah, it's kind of like they just took out like, in my opinion, it's like they took out a cog that was not even really like relevant. To yeah. what made up the meta. Like, obviously, it's a good mod and it's not anything like to be looked down upon, but it's, uh, I don't know, I just really don't feel like it was worthy of being suspected, much less being banned. You know, to me, what it seems like is that Smogan often, what they'll do is they'll look at the usage stats for the last few months and they'll base them, their decisions and, um, and their suspect tests off of that but they don't look at like the most recent information coming from the past couple of weeks and the dr the recent drops of well not recent because it's been a few months now but the increase in usage in sylveon and conkelder in the tier mm -hmm. and there's so many pokemon that check hydreigon so well and can switch into both its stabs it's like kind of yeah, go ahead. But, I mean, uh, apparently from what I've heard is the argument is that there are no switch-ins to it, and I, I just can't agree with that because you got Umbreon, which can pretty much take any move you want to go for. You have Floridus, which again, even with Flash Cannon, Floridus can get a wish off and not uh, feel that back unless it's like Specs, but like, even with Specs, it can just spam Protect and get back to a ring where it can uh, like, get a wish off at least and then have a correct mm -hmm. response to it. Um, yeah. Suicune, like, uh, you don't even have to be maxed with death, like, Suicune can more or less, like, come in on a Draco Meteor even, and just rest off the damage, and it probably won't even get to get KO'd, I don't know the cap off the top of my head, but just from playing with Hydreigon, uh, frequently enough, I, I can gather that, um, I, I just, pretty much anything defensive can take a hit from Hydreigon. Yeah, did we just both do the same thing? 
What do you mean? Did we both just mod join? Oh no, that wasn't me. Uh, no, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So like, there there are there's so many checks to it. Like, I just I I can't get behind that. And I think that a lot of people are going to agree. I don't think it's going to end up getting banned because it is a great wall breaker for stall because there are stall variants in UU. Yeah. So it's just High Dragon doesn't even get any setup. It's not like it's a huge threat if like you you accidentally switch out on it and it, it sets up a Dragon Dance. It can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it's to me it, it doesn't feel warranted. I don't so. see, uh, I like the way that UU has been as a tier ever since, uh, kind of, I feel like, Conkledir and Sylveon being dropped down, uh, mm. and as well as, uh, what was it, Amoongus being, uh, risen up as well as Tangra. Um, mm. the tier is just a lot more offensive, uh, yeah. just in general. Uh, you don't really see a lot of people attempting stall, and most of the mons that are in the tier that are offensive, like, either have access to a very hard-hitting move or set up to where stall doesn't really work in the tier anymore. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, like, at the beginning of XY, uh, there was a lot of, uh, there was, a, like, UU was a lot bulkier of a tier, mm -hmm. but recently, like, the more, the further we got into Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, it became more and more offensive to the point where I feel like High Dragons, like, even... Like, yes, its usage is still very high, but it's probably, in my opinion, like a B plus or an A tier mon at best. Yeah. It, it, I don't see it being all that threatening. I could be wrong. I could be <laughs> speaking out of out of my ass here, but like, no, nah, I just. Yeah, I was just about to say. Just yeah. Just <laughs> a of a team. I'm just looking for a team that somebody can use. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> if any of you, yo, load up that Bennett team. Where is that? Yeah, I want to see that in action here. <laughs> Eric, right. go for it. I'll, I'll play with it. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm Crash. trying to rebuild some of the teams that I got deleted when my uh, PC crashed. Oh, oh, really? You, you, can you remember any of them? Oh, I remember at, at least two of them off the top of my head. The, uh, yeah, this guy has three psychic and... types. Can you make up a net to win? With no high dragon, look at look at this, look at this. Just for example, Reuniclus, no high dragon. Actually, one thing that's going to be a lot. Reuniclus, Celebi, uh, Metagross. Like, how do you break these things without your resonant dark type? Like, OU has Bisharp and Weavile. Where, where's without high dragon? Where's the dark type here? I don't know. Cal Caliente. I love that nickname. That's amazing. Yeah, that is actually pretty awesome. That's so good. All right. A nice lead. So yeah, anybody else got any input? <laughs> uh, I was looking at um old. Uh, they have a, on the forums. They have all the previous tests and the results of that. Uh, so from like very early X and Y, they did test Hydreigon in UU, and it ended up staying in UU. So that could happen again. Mm -hmm. we'll see. I, don't know. I just thought yeah. it was an interesting thing to throw out there. Yeah, no, for sure. It's been a long time since then, but... Yeah. Um, when when, really when was this I'm exactly? I'm sure we're going to see a lot of, like, annoying Reuniclus, uh, set up. Mm -hmm. Just as, as a rule of thumb without Hydreigon being a threat. Not that it was really, like, not happening with this Hydreigon, because I think the bigger part of Reuniclus not being as successful when you use just, um, Crocodile and, uh, a lot of knockoff abusers. Mm -hmm. uh, but Hydreigon uh, definitely uh, was a bit too. It, it could run Taunt and Dark Pulse, which pretty much destroyed the Uniclus. Yeah, no, for sure. You could see uh, Mega Houndoom get more usage during the suspect. Well, that would be a fun team to make, man. Yeah, I actually have it to make it easier. Yeah. No, I, uh. I don't. Uh, Eric, I know you, um. You don't agree with Smogon's tiering system at all. <laughs> no, I That's think uh, the base tier is uh, dumb. Because then you have stuff like this where you're like, well, this mon's too overpowered. Well, no duh. Your your peers are based on usage, not on power level or any kind of balance. We'll elaborate on that, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know how to, to test, like, a, make a good tier. I mean, they're going to eventually form themselves out, you know, based on the usage themselves. But... Right now, when you when you do this kind of stuff, you base these uh, you know base them on the usage. So this mon gets used X amount of times for whatever, right? It goes to 
said tier. But then it's like, oh, well, it's, well, it's way too overpowered for that tier. But you put it in that tier because it's based on the usage. So if it goes into, say, BL, but let's say there's something else that's better in that in OU, for example, that does the same exact thing. That mod just kind of just chills there in, in BL world and does nothing. Enough, yeah, no, I I agree with that. When you have seven hundred yeah, Pokemon, it's just something that's gonna happen. Like, like the bit, like one of the biggest Pokemon to me that that like fits into that category that Eric was just talking about is Terrakion. You look at a Pokemon like Terrakion that was so good in fifth gen, and because of the rise in play of uh, Pokemon like Keldeo, Landorus. Uh, even Garchomp, other like, Pokemon with similar coverage and, and typings and do the same thing. Uh, Terrakion is still too good for UU, but it just sits there and it can't do anything. Uh, but I guess you could say the same thing if you were to look at Wi-Fi battling. Instead of bringing a Terrakion, I can bring a, a more powerful fighting type because they do exist. Mm -hmm. So, at the, at the same time, like, if... If it wasn't for Smogon, we would never even uh, some Pokemon would never even see the light of day. Like that's this Milotic. Yeah, this Milotic that's in front of me, you would you would never see it. And I know Dan A Drive has brought this up a couple of times in uh, in his videos, uh, where he says the same thing about League format. That if it wasn't for League format, you wouldn't see a lot of these Pokemon that don't get a chance to shine. And uh, lead format has definitely been a precursor to like people being able to actually see the viability of moms that you're not seeing uh, as often. So you're like, yeah. oh, okay, so I didn't even realize this could do this. So you said that you know, there might be a mom that's in the actual tier that does better, but uh, there might be a niche and things that, like I said, in lead format, you're not really going to be able to see. But yeah. it's totally viable. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, that's like even, even certain abilities that you never get to see, like things like vital spirit and uh, even anger point like I use an anger point um, primate in in league format just because I was so tired of getting crit <laughs> so, like you know it could, it could be anything like yeah All right, I really thought he wouldn't stay in on a sacred fire there but anyway um, but yeah no I I think that if it wasn't for Smogon like you we at the same time, you can just play Wi-Fi your whole life and not even know that this exists. But it's um, it's it's a it's a it's a good tiering system. I think they've done a great job over the years. Yeah, yeah. it's got, it's got a good basis to start. I mean, it's definitely a good place to start to build your your tiers and kind of. I mean, because eventually they're gonna formulate themselves based on power, of course. Because mm -hmm. so you're gonna have your your stronger mons that are gonna be used and overplayed, right? Yeah. In the OU, because you know they're they're good, right? They're strong. They're, they're powerful. You know, mm -hmm. difference. You know, of using Gengar or Chandelier. You know, different ghost types or whatever type. But then you have these parts where you start to get. You're kind of wanting to define the, the format, right? And, you know, you're like, oh, this Mon Salamence, for example. You know, it has zero switch ins. It you know never know what it's going to do. It's going to be moxie. It's going to be intimidate. It's gonna, you know, have all sorts of coverage in the world. Yeah, I know you what know, you mean. You're, so you're eventually starting. Um, go, you need to kind of now, where Smogon's at, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Is where they're at now, they need to push away from usage base and kind of now they're like, okay, we know what these, what the power does and what these mons can do. We need to kind of formulate a better structure so we're not doing all these suspect tests all the time to well, ban stuff. Well, I mean, you could say that, but at the end of the day, like, no one, anyone, anytime anyone tiers a bunch of the mods, like, look at, like, lead format, like, GBH tiering, for example, even though there's five tiers, like, I'll, anyone who looks at that tiering system, they're going to see something on there where they're like, oh, that shouldn't be that tier, high tier, because that's not as valuable as something above it or below it, but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not viable there, and just the way that they have it now is that, yes, it is based on usage, but, like, Look in all of the metagames in every tier there is so far. Uh, yes, it's, it's it's like BL is there to tell you, like, yes, we acknowledge that X and so-and-so is more powerful than they're just too broken in the tier. There's not really good counters for it, and it balances out each tier. And, I mean, it sucks, yeah, you want to use your favorite mon in a lower tier, but, like, think about all the mons you would never be able to use if there were no tiers. 
I'm not saying have no tiers. I'm just saying change it so you can have a more balanced format where you're not banning stuff all the time, and then it just kind of gets put to the wayside of not being used, like Terrakion. Like, how often do you actually see Terrakion? I think the problem is that the meta is constantly changing, like more so than we kind of realize sometimes. And that, like, it's like what am I trying to say? <laughs> things things trend like uh, for a long time. Like choice dark landers was the uh, most common landers, but now it's kind of switched to rocky helmet. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of changed. Like for a long time, rough skin rocky helmet guard champ was around, but now like lander is kind of. Uh, it does it a better job than that. So it kind of changes the game, and that's why you have to constantly check on if something is more broken than it was maybe three months ago, because the whole meta has changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Sylveon and Conqueror dropped. Like, obviously, that changed the meta a lot. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's going to change stuff yeah. no matter what. When you add or take away stuff, because stuff's going to get moved. Yeah, and I, I think, think that's, that's the, the biggest, biggest thing, thing, and I, I think, think that's, that's what's what's, what's most, most important, important is that things are always going to change, and that's why they have the usage-based tiering system. Um, if you, if you, I understand where you're going, Eric, with that. Whereas, like, it's been so long, we should already know what should be in what tier. But, like, if if I'm gonna use, like, for example, Mega Metacham, right? If Mega Metacham um, was always a UU Pokemon, or Mega Pidgeot was always a UU Pokemon, and we would never have a suspect test to vote on whether it should be banned from that tier or not, it would just stay there, and that would neutralize so many other Pokemon that are in the tier. Do you understand? Well, yeah, I mean, I get that. Quick so, question, does anyone know how to turn off notifications from uh, battles? Uh, no. Well, there should be a little gear when it comes up. Oh, whoops. It does not have a thing that says turn off notifications. It's pretty annoying because every two seconds I'm getting a notification from uh, the other battle. <laughs> I've got two, two battles coming up right now. Yeah, I'm getting that too. But I'm not, uh, I'm not paying attention to it, so... I wouldn't care if I was uh, recording system audio. Yeah. Oh, you, you're oh, getting you, notification, you're getting notification and, sound? and sound? Yeah. Oh, oh sucks. that sucks. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna yeah, lose, this, gonna game. lose this game. There's nothing I can There's do. Nothing I can do. It's, this guy. Yeah. it's this guy. It's a hit or miss team. It's yeah. Uh, yeah, like sure. confusing the non-wall breaking of, uh, what do you call it? Oh my what? gosh, this what? is really annoying me. A self, a self vested in thing. <laughs> I am going for, I the, am poison. Going for the poison. It's my only play. It's my only play. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's, All right, that's game. What's going on, What's going on in this one? Uh, I'm losing to a bunch of quits. <clears throat> oh, really? <clears throat> oh, okay. oh, okay. Maybe we should just have one battle going on at one time. <laughs> yeah, that would be probably true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, other, so yeah, than, other that, than that, like I like I like big butts that you cannot lie. Yeah, that's, nah, that's it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <what I'm laughs> that's what I was going for. Um, um like personally, like, personally I, love I love when a suspect test comes up because it because shifts it shifts around, everything around and it makes things, and it makes interesting, things interesting again. again. Yeah. But but oh that's what it was. Oh, that's what it was. I was wondering why the hell you kept going for knockoff for Uniclus. It's like what the hell? Um. Is the real one. Is the real one. Do I live in but, but, but I don't think you have knockoff with these shifters. Yeah. Mm. How sweet, you How are sweet you are, Trick Room. I was gonna say. Um. um you really want to. You really want to stay in on this stuff? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I was gonna say. Just turned, just turned it back off. Didn't think that. Go for it again, for it again and switch out into. Uh, is this regenerator or? No, it's not I forgot to put trick. I have trick instead of trick room on uh, Porygon. Unfortunately, I'm go hard mirror like I'm gonna go shouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, I would, uh, I would go crowd on it. Not about that. Awkward. Uh, let's see him bone ring. The fire punch. Uh, not far. I think not far. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. For sure. Unfortunately, it's not the right player to Oh, he had an eye on Frank should kill, kill though. Yeah, I would to oh, wow. Oh, oh, no. Bye, Marowak. Hey, well, not bye, hey, but. More knock One off. more knockoff. Uh, or fire punch, predicting him to that. Oh yeah, definitely. That's what's gonna go up. <laughs> I'm gonna look for what team I can use. Now. Um, I'm just gonna rock slide. Definitely it. So I've always wondered that. But I've seen that a few times. I think it's mainly for like people that are very comfortable and are very aware of what's going on in the tier. So they can kind of notice a difference if there's a missing Pokemon in Because I haven't played that much UU lately, so it's kind of weird. It's really to have such a catch that they it's not there. Like, if you want to test it to see if, if there is the not a switch in, like, you know, because you'd want to have more data with it there than with it not. Yeah. Okay, it's gone. It's just not there. I don't have to prep for it. You know, I don't have to bring a team that needs to deal with it. For most kind of either something new or something like that in the tier, I kind of understand why they're doing that this time around because that really has been a new year forever. Yeah, and I just kind of this. see what the meta is like without it. That kind of makes sense to me, but it's definitely a little weird. You, see, you, you seem, to, you seem forget to forget that we're at the bottom of the ladder, Dom. True. Yeah, he didn't see incompetent, seem incompetent, so... No, but he no, did, go, but for he did go for a poison jab, jab when you only had three fighting, three fighting left. weeks left. True. I want to see gold on that, uh, what you call it, coming in really bad. Go for trick, go for trick, give, it, trick, an give it an Eviolite. I need the Eviolite, unfortunately. <laughs> and recover. And recover. He can't, like, hurt me, though. I kind of just want to go for a couple. Ooh, you asshole. Though. Oh. That's Powerful para. If I break the boot, um, what do you call it? I pretty much just won. Nice. Yep. And yep. 487 Thunderbolt. Ooh, zero damage. Wait, you're, 40, Wait, you're 487? Special attack? Special attack? Damn. Max, so Damn. Almost max special attack. Boot break there. Thank you. You need to get, need to, get to, uh, two more off. I need to not. I need to. Oh, God. That's gay. He's gonna miss it. Nope, he's gonna hit. You're Eevee You're Eevee Light, right? right? Yeah. Then he's banded. Then he's banded. You think? No. Well, uh, yeah. Why did that Thunderbolt do nothing then? Because well, it's, it's a Porygon. <laughs> yeah, he was oh no, he's a self vest. Never mind. You're right. You're right. Unfortunately, does he have a grass, have a grass move? Uh, oh, goodbye, Chrono. Yep. <laughs> what a last. <laughs> oh well, there goes that. All right. All right. We're at the bottom. We're at the bottom of the ladder. We gotta, we gotta, play, gotta play like Joey. True. That's, That's what we gotta do. By joy, I mean by joy, I mean Jake Creams. Nah. All right, let's right. see. If you don't live in it every time. <laughs> this team is like <laughs> terrible. Uh, this people, this is good. pretty much stall. Like people bring hey, stall to Rob. the EU ladder. Wait, hey, what's up, Rob? Wait, did, wait, did Rob just win? Rob, Rob. 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 <laughs> it's not like once, once uh, what's it called? Rob, you got Rob, my Rob, you got my episode, right? That's me. Matt. <laughs> Every, time. Every time. I said it at the, beginning, it at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> you can just, uh, Rob, talking about the suspect uh, test in the UUs. With the UUs, with the UUs, with the Diglett Dreams. Get paired. Ooh, call that prediction. Get them out of time. Before the rocks go up. When you're at the top of the ladder, you have to play like me, so they don't forget you. Of course. You can get your top picks like that, and not the Snorlax. Does Snorlax win? just win? Uh, yeah, once the Aggron's weak, a little. Well, I mean, what does, well, I mean, what does Aggron do to Snorlax? Snorlax? Uh, perhaps roar you. Less Mon, Snorlax wins. Like, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, I just start, I spike, just start spike stacking him, then? Yeah. You could go Celebi or Sylveon, but... Agron is a handful, so you're pretty oh, good. I like oh, I like Sylveon here. here. I like Sylveon here. And then yeah, you I'm just gonna hyper voice. You could do that. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even care about. Wow. Uh, nice. Great damage. Great damage. 
Bye, sweet Bye, sweet coon. Yeah, it's pretty much <laughs> irrelevant now. That man is saying he gets to kill him yeah. next time it comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> So, like as you like, see, as you see Hydreigon, Hydreigon being gone doesn't like, like stop Sylveon, Sylveon wrecking from wrecking shop. shop. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll grab but, another game with the uh, 18. Did you guys see Jared earlier? No. Yeah. No. No. What's up? What's <laughs> like, up? This, this guy, I still haven't met him yet. No, he quoted Jared and said why he's wrong, and then Jared just put who the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Uh, that was uh, hilarious. His only defogger would be Napoleon. There's an SP on there. I think what I'm gonna yeah. do is just leave with blah 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 blah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. Alright. He's back. He's back. Uh, lucky I almost hit Modjoin. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave with the uh, Guard of War. I'm just gonna leave Modjoin in the chat just, just in case he does that again. Maxi Oh my gosh, I hate the team builder sometimes. It wants everything to be max HP, max speed. I mean, max HP, max whatever the offensive stat is. Wait, what's max HP right now? It's only 250. That's an, it's not Guard even max Guard HP. That's annoying. It's like slow as balls. Well, might as well. Talking about Guard, talking about guard yeah, right? And he gets his hefty shadow ball off. And he can't do, much, can't back do much back to you. Hmm, no. that was scrumptious. Especially if he goes for Psychic. Oh. That doesn't matter. That animation is lovely. And I'm gonna T-Bolt expecting Citrus? the uh... Spit up drop for spit up drop? Okay. Uh, Expect that delicious uh... Napoleon, but if, uh, I guess he stays in. Pretty much enabling me to do get up webs. I'm not complaining at all. Yeah. Yep. Probably gonna bring uh, out... Uh... I feel like, I feel like this. if this had speed, it would just win. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not over predict on this guy. So he just goes for psychic. And he's, gonna right he's, gonna he's gonna click Sludge Wave, so you can, so go, wave, so you can go into Crook. True. Or Mammo, I have less of a problem dealing with Mammo, because he can go for Ice Beam. Well, Mammo destroys, well, Mammo destroys, destroys everything. everything. Mammo's cool. Whereas Crook, Whereas Crook, Crook doesn't do anything with Florida's. He didn't even have to go for Sludge Wave, though. Sucker. Alright, yeah, we're on the low at it. Uh, yep, this yep. I'm just gonna click Crook. Oh, fuck, I'm Wait, Doc, not you didn't Dolly. Really break bad ending? I don't know, I felt like it left too much. Wait, no, don't talk about it. I haven't. 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 Unless he's scarfed So yeah, Rob, what's uh, what's your opinion on suspect testing in general and, and the high dragon suspect test? All I saw was Matt roasting some dude. They, they, some dude was like, they never test uh, defensive, uh, defensive mods. And, um, and Matt was just like, that little more. And then they high like, the like a week ago. A week ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I just play a lot of RU, and Alola Mo has always been. Getting I almost made Rex for that. Uh, I'm here to satisfy all the birds. No, I don't know what I'm saying. Hey Rob, uh, how lit are you on a, a scale of 1 to 10? Like, get out of here, Rob. Get out of here. And before Scarf Floyd just. Gone. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Everything's, Everything's dead. 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 Alright, somebody load right, up I'm another Alright, I'm, using, I'm team. using your team though. Ooh. The Dragon Warrior team. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the caster. Let's take a look at this guy's team. What does Hydreigon break through on this man's team? Nothing. Uh, it breaks uh, through, it breaks the through Rotom, Fortress. Just, just the Rotom. It can flame Fortress. 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 Yeah, Fortress yeah, and, and a Tyrantrum mostly. Okay, so what on his team would he switch in to Hydreigon? Would be Sylveon, right? Yeah. No, yeah. 
<laughs> Sylveon right there. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> he has Iron Tail. I think he's probably leaving me in Sour Fortress. So what? So it, what? it doesn't run Iron, iron Tail. It normally runs Scarf. It's work up Iron Tail. Just leave Frostless. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Alright, now on the reverse side, on your team. Uh, this Icy one here. What does. What does, uh. I drag on duty Why? against us. This man had a high dragon over Tyrantrum. Uh, it would do. Uh, it would do absolutely, absolutely, absolutely to nothing us. to us. Got Agron, we got it would outspeed our. We got Scarf, Kirin. That's about it. Well, scarf, it was, well, if it was yeah. Scarf, yeah. I'm over for spikes. I'm over for spikes. Screw it. Fine play. Fine play, my lad. Only reason I said I see win was because. Uh, well, I guess he gets to the point. It's Crowback. Ooh, Venom Chow. Does not outspeed you unless he's Scarf. Meaning he has to go for knockoff. Meaning, uh, it would be a fine switch in here. Except he's probably gonna just return. Hey, Ron. Matt! Oh. Matt! Well, Jar, well, Jar has joined us officially. Everybody, everybody's hopping in while we're recording. What's up, yeah. guys? This is lovely. What does, what's up, guys? This is Aster J here, back with another episode of Yu Gi Oh! Showdown on my DS. <laughs> Game Boy SP. Sorry, <laughs> I miss you. What, Ray? Did you see the last, my last video? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sack Frost last or keep it for high jump kick? Uh, I want to keep it for high jump kick. My outro was this leaves us with the question, crap, guys. That is and then I just cut the video. <laughs> that is super specs. Wait, what? Wait, what? What, what video was this? This was my last video. It, it was my last video. I, I ended it with like because I lost. I was like, guys, this leaves us with one question, and then I just cut the video. <laughs> <laughs> the GPC? Against Raikwin? What? Was that against Raikwin? Yeah, Raikwin fucking hacks me, man. I love yeah. Raikwin. Yeah, he dude, he so got lucky. so lucky. This is anti up speeds. Oh. What just happened? Why did Entei die? We don't need Entei. Not Entei. He was so young. <laughs> Even Raikwin said he hacks me. Wait, who's, who's clicking moves? moves? Oh, yeah. Someone said my name? You have Who's I did clicking Matt, I'm always saying your name. <laughs> <laughs> and now you don't outspeed. Matt, you want to be my debate partner? We went off. We went off earlier. <laughs> Wait, I was talking oh, about. I'm ready. What do you want to do, Wait, here, Aster? I like the term discussion more. I'm going back into that. this. No one wins the discussion. <laughs> Wait, do everyone really guys? guys? You no, know, every everyone wins the discussion. That's the problem. <laughs> you need a loser. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, get predicted. Ooh, get predicted. Okay, what are we doing? I'll predict. Well, what tier are we? Oh, wait, is this a video right now? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes it is. Oh, you're welcome, Master. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yay, oh, my fucking more damage. Dog. I'm in the battle, why are you yeah, coming? Right, you want to. Because, no, um, we're, we're, we're background entertainment. I see wind here. Oh my gosh. John Oliver won best talk series. Fuck yeah, John Oliver's the shit. Poor guy. Alright, so, All that's, right, so that's another win. That's gonna wrap, gonna wrap it up for uh, this podcast, podcast guys, guys because uh, we're... Yeah, Jared, Jared, Jared. No, well, no, I'm no, in my video, you're not, so you're not in the video, you guys, sorry, uh, bro. For watching. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> that's uh, gonna be it. Nonsense, so, uh, you, you, you it is, guys. Alright. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Bye, guys.